actually one of the things I found uh, with my anger is that I um, had trouble coming to the core emotion because to get to the core emotion I felt I had to be vulnerable, you know, that sense of allowing myself. And when I went down that feeling of what does a vulnerable mean to me, mm -hmm. um, it was that it's actually at the time when I was or I was young and vulnerable that all these things happen. Okay. So So what does vulnerable mean to you? Um, no protection and uh, all sorts of things come up when I go down there. It's like, yep. where were you going? Um, who's protecting me if my parents are meant to protect me? Yep. Um, if I'm meant to be vulnerable and I was vulnerable before and all of these things happened and a bit of that, like that rage of, well, what's the point of it all, you know? Um, yep. Uh, you know, I've been there and I've done that, and this is what it's taught me, sort of attitude. Yep. And so I. I Can I stop you there, though, for a second? And there's a big thing that's that's not factored into your reasoning, though, and that is that who was your parent then? It was these parents who you were vulnerable to, and they damaged you? They were your parents then. Who's your parents now? God. God's your parent now. Yeah. And that's the thing that you. You're not allowing yourself to be vulnerable with this new parent, God, who is able to protect you, who is the only one probably on this planet who's able to love you, and the only one probably able to help you as well. And can you see the relationship there? If I believe that God is this new parent that can actually supply these different needs to me and have some faith in that, then I'll be more tempted to go into the vulnerable space with God. Yeah, actually, um, I had a lot of blocks, and I still do, but um, with all the attempts I made, the only way I found really to get some way into it was to pray to God. Exactly. And constantly, even though I felt like not worthy enough for him to hear me, or whether I really believed in God, because if I did, I wouldn't be doing what I did. Um, I just keep trying, and that has helped me access some of the uh, emotions underneath. Yes. Um, but if I still come back sometimes about the vulnerable and stay in the anger and, you know, that. that. Well, let, let's look at the vulnerable issue itself. What, what's happening is that, that you're opening up your vulnerability, you're, you're attempting to, but you're still thinking it's aimed towards people on this earth and people, you know, towards people generally. The first person to open up your vulnerability towards is God. Because God is the only person that's going to accept your vulnerability without harming you. Does that make sense? And then allow yourself to actually demonstrate vulnerability at least in that relationship. So that's the first relationship you want to demonstrate this vulnerability in. Once you demonstrate the vulnerability in the first relationship, then as God's love enters you and heals the, the emotion, you become reassured in fact that no matter what happens to you, God and you are always going to be together. No matter what happens to you around you. So it doesn't matter who treats you badly, who treats you well, God is still going to be the constant that's going to be, that you're going to be com out of it, completely open and vulnerable towards, and God's love is going to keep you secure in that place. And that's the emotion you're working through. And that's a very powerful emotion. When you get through that emotion, you'll find you'll feel very, very different about being vulnerable to everyone else. Because often it's the fear of being punished or the fear of being harmed again that causes to withdraw from being vulnerable. But if I know that I've got one person in this universe who I'll never get harmed from and who will always love me no matter what happens to me, and I believe that in my heart, I have this feeling in my heart that that's true, then no matter what happens around me, will never really affect me. Does that make sense? So allow yourself to start ex experiencing your vulnerability towards God first. So don't worry about so much with everyone else. Focus on being completely open and vulnerable towards God first. And when you do that, a lot of God's love will enter you, you'll feel a secure bond between you and God, 
and that will actually allow you to begin being vulnerable with other people. And when you get vulnerable with other people, you'll find actually the same principles apply with your vulnerability with God. Actually, most people are attracted to it. And you'll find that that will also then grow your confidence with regard to this being truthful in your own life.